Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Last time, we, uh, well, we, we did some stuff for Cortez. I forgot what the first thing was, but as far as the second thing goes, oh wait, no, the first thing was a mall shootout, that's right. The second thing, though, we were, uh, protecting Diaz during a job, and because of that, Diaz now has some work for us but we're gonna get into that a little bit later today because right now we're gonna start off with the ambulance missions I hate the ambulance missions in Grand Theft Auto 3 and Vice City because it was before they decided wait we want players to have fun with our game in San Andreas and they incorporated checkpoints because yeah with the ambulance missions right here in Vice City if we uh fail at any point we start over from the beginning this is a take two by the way cuz I uh I actually got up to like level seven or eight and then I accidentally ran over uh, a patient which caused me to fail I was doing the ambulance missions at the North Hospital and apparently that caused a lot of people to spawn on the beach. It's very hard to slow down when you're speeding on a beach. And that's how I ran over someone. And then also, like, I, I was I was so disheartened after that. I was like, you know what? I'll just go ahead, do the rampages, and then we can get on to the story missions. And then the game crashed in the middle of me doing the rampages. So, yeah, fun times. Are you absolutely serious? All right, we're going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. I do not have a weapon. All right. Um, all right, well, uh, I choose you. All right, get wrecked. And so we wait. Is um ambulance? Hey, baby, you do we need another one? Okay, we got two. One just disappeared. Ambulance. I'm about to mess with the hookers because they have knives on them. Um. Ambulance. Thank you. Okay. It took a minute. It took a minute. Vice City response time isn't the best. Yeah, it's this is mine now. All right, and so we're off. So yep, with the ambulance missions. Okay, that was a little concerning because they gave me three whole minutes to get here. Um. But yeah, ambulance missions, you pick up patients, take them back to the hospital, and you're good. Um, the ambulance, of course, has a max capacity of three patients. So when you get up to levels uh, four and over, you're going to need to... Uh, like you're you're, you're going to need to um, return to the hospital drop off the patients you are really on the other side they're always going to show up on the beach huh no matter where I choose to take these on they're going to show up on the beach I may want to start this up north then because at least the buildings are less crowded up there This is going to be annoying. But yeah, um, you get the patients, return them to the hospital in time, and yeah. You know what? I'm, I'm not feeling this right now. Uh, I'm, I'm going to just go ahead, fail this, get an ambulance up north, and do them there. 
because like either way i'm still going to be driving on the beach but at least the roads are a bit more open up here but yeah more tips um always have your siren going i know this is going to be bad for the video with the constant blaring i apologize and yeah getting out you know causes it to end it is what it is but yeah have your siren going at all times because that at least causes people to slow down and get out of your way which is very important in this mission because you do not want to blow up your ambulance which made my first attempt on the failed recording even the more heartbreaking because i was at, like my car wasn't even smoking or even near to smoking when i ultimately failed Sad times, sad times. Uh, siren? There we go. But alright, um, yeah, I'm just gonna try to do this up here. If I fail, then I'll just do it off camera. Or maybe wait till I get to Vice City West? How far south are you? Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, it might be easier to just stay in the north than do this. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead, uh, focus on this. There's really not much to it, not much you need to see. Oh, uh, but just one more thing. The moment their hand touches the door, you can start driving off. That counts as them sort of being in. I really do like the realistic ambulance mechanics where the cars will slow down or get out of your way it really helps to counteract the fact that people in vice city cannot fucking drive but yeah just gonna go ahead swing on through here drop her off level one down always check your map try to think of the best way of getting them this is a horrible setup Though not as bad as like one setup I had on the failed recording. Where somebody was on fucking Prawn Island. That was a stressful one, but I actually managed. Like time was not an issue for me when I failed. It was just the fact that I should not have been going full speed on the beach. Cause stopping on sand is a bit different than stopping on asphalt. See how quickly I stopped on asphalt? Now multiply that stopping time by about, uh, you know, 10 seconds. It was like I was Luigi, just skidding to a halt. Slippery shoes, only they're slippery wheels. That sucked. But yeah, um, I don't know if I'll like speed this up or just cut it out entirely. There's really not much uh, variety here. I guess one other, like, thing you could do... Yeah, I am being extra careful here. Did not want to hurt my uh, ambulance. But one thing you could do, I guess, is preemptively take off the back doors. <laughs> like, that would allow you to save, like, one or two seconds, maybe, from uh, the patients not having to open the door to get in. They will just step inside. <laughs> But yeah, um, not much else to say here, so I will see you hopefully when I beat this. Oh my god, we're almost done. We're almost done. I have four minutes. I am going to play it so safe. I, I'm stopping all the way over here. 
I know you're dying, but you can run over here. Okay. I have four minutes, 30 seconds to get back. My ambulance is not smoking. I can take my time. I'm going through here slowly so I don't flip it. I came close at one point. Um, I don't know if I will just like show everything and speed it up or just cut to this point. Because this took a lot longer than I expected. Um, I think I've been at this for an hour. Can't tell. I'm recording this full screen and I don't have a dual monitor set up yet. Uh, so, yeah, I, I think I've been at this for an hour, but we're done. So, yeah, paramedic missions complete. Get $15,000 and we don't get tied. So yeah, I can now sprint infinitely. Though technically speaking, I could have already did that by tapping. Is this where I saved my bike? No, it is not. Okay. But yeah, technically you can already do that by just tapping X when you're running. But now I can just hold so you won't hear weird sounds coming from the mic. All right. Saving before anything goes wrong here. Wait, let, 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 let me save over the top one. All right, just wanted to make sure that was taken care of before this game would freeze. But anyway, uh, now we're going to get into the rampages. Yeah, I figured I'll do those now as opposed at, at the end of the uh, recording. Because... Okay, that was fucking rude of you. Because... Something big is going to happen once we do the uh, final story mission for today. So I'm going to go ahead and get the rampages out the way. So, um, yeah, I already pre-recorded these. We're going to be doing 15. There's uh, 35 in total. So, uh, yeah, let's cut to uh, my past footage and some post-commentary, shall we? Okay, so now we're about to get into Rampages, and this is the first time they'll appear on my channel, I believe. Um, well, granted, there were Rampages in GTA 5, but they were only accessible to Trevor, and they weren't actual Rampages, they were uh, more or less Strangers and Freaks side missions, but they were still in uh, GTA 5 in some capacity. Uh, Rampages were in San Andreas, but they were purely optional, just like the unique jumps. Uh, the only thing, though, is that San Andreas Rampages are two-player only. Uh, but, regardless, um, in this, well, in every other uh, GTA game, Rampages are just a thing where you have to kill X number of people in X amount of time with X, uh, well, yeah, with, with X method. Well, I guess it'll be X number of people with Y amount of time with Z being your method. Uh, so, for example, one could be kill 25 gang members in two minutes with a machete or blow up 10 cars in 90 seconds with a rocket launcher. Uh, some rampages are way easier than others. And for the most part, these were relatively easy, though it took me a few attempts for some of them. I'm mad that the footage I had previously, like, I can still use it, but my uh, reactions are gone because... I beat one in particular really clutch. Uh, I'm not doing these in the order that I did them on that recording, so I think it might be the third or fourth one where like, I'm on a little ledge and I have an assault rifle and I need to shoot gang members. On the corrupted, or not corrupted, but on the uh, failed recording, I beat that with like one second left. That was frightening. And then there's uh, one right at the beach where you have to run over a certain amount of gang members in two minutes. And yeah, I had a car with me. It just wasn't a good one. 
So I was driving so slow across the sand that the gang members were diving out the way before I could even run over them. That was rough. Uh, but yeah, we're just going to be going through uh, 15 today because that's all we can really access. So yeah, not much to really say here. I mean, like there are good strategies for each one, but sometimes you don't even really need to worry about that. Like any car related one, as long as you have a good, durable, fast car, you'll be fine. The drive-by ones, I were not expecting to be as easy as they were. Uh, yeah. People die real quick when you do a drive-by in Vice City. Not used to that, because it took a, it took some work in San Andreas. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie about that one. Uh, there was one in particular where I had a katana. That one was kind of rough. But if you're lucky enough to decapitate the people as soon as possible, it's manageable. Uh, the chainsaw ones were super easy. Just hold, circle, and run, and everything will be demolished in your wake. The sniper rifle ones are super easy. Uh, the pump action shotgun one came really close, but I managed. I don't know what was wrong with the aim on that. The combat shotgun, though, that was... I was not expecting that to be that easy. <laughs> that was uh, interesting, to say the least. But um, I'm just trying to think. I'm also going back through. I know there's really not much to say here. Like the katana and the assault rifle on the ledge one. Those took me a few attempts. Because... Like, things just weren't spawning, or I was just getting killed before I could wrap things up. Uh, the ones that were done in the mall were pretty fun. I say ones, and I think there was just one. Cannot remember... I could just look through. Yeah, there's one. No, yeah, yeah, just one in the mall with the rocket launcher. That was fun. And very scary, because you do not want the enemies to get real close to you before you shoot. Oh, and um, whatever gang you deal with, it's always going to be random. So don't be surprised when you get done with uh, this and you find out that your, like, most hated gang is a gang that won't even appear on this half of Vice City. It's always random like that. Um, in GTA 3, I don't think it, uh, the rampages were specific to gangs. I think there were some that were just civilians, and I know there were a few that were like cars only. Sorry, I had to take care of something there, but... Yeah, I can't remember if GTA 3 was all gang members for the Rampages or if it mixed in civilians. Uh, but I know there were some that were like, oh, destroy this many cars. Because I remember one infamous one that was like, use grenades. Or I could be thinking of Liberty City stories, honestly. I don't know. I don't know. The Rampages kind of meld together. They're fun, but... Yeah, like, it's kind of hard to remember some of the finer details about them. But regardless, enjoy my successful attempts of some of these rampages. Uh, my fails aren't particularly funny enough to show off. It's just me slowly dying because I'm trying to rush through and kill all the enemies before I die. And I wasn't going out of my way to refill on body armor each time. So, yeah. Honestly, if you have body armor going into some of these, you'll be fine in that regard. And any wanted levels you amass during the rampage will go away the moment it's over. However, any gang members that are still in the vicinity who are mad at you, 
they'll still chase after you, and that's no good. But all right, here's the rest of the rampages. When we're done with this, more story missions. Woo! time with you, man. Let's 
his wallet. Where did you get that bag? Step off if you know what's what. Respond to a 10, 19, South, 5 point. Respond to a 10, 21, South, Welcome 5 point. Welcome to Germ City. Dumbo. You don't want me to use this.
You wanna mess with me? Oye, chico, eso no puede ser. Problem here, man. Where is this? Every time with you, man. Team time, man. Oye, chico, eso no pude ser. Don't worry, man. Official Theta Inspector. No. 
All right, so Starfish Island is now open. Hope you enjoyed those rampages. But yeah, Starfish Island is open so we can do missions for Diaz. Oh, I was destroying some of his gang for the uh, uh, rampages. Hopefully he does not hold grudges. The chase. Chop your head off! Uh, who is this dickhead? Tommy Versetti. You remember me. Excuse me, I'm a little anxious. Never trust a goddamn horse! You do a good job. You work for me now. I work for money. As I said, amigo, you work for me now. I work Shut for up! Money. Some Judas has betrayed me. He thinks I don't know how much money I should be making. But stealing 3% is as good as stealing 100%. No one does this to me. No one. You follow him from his apartment, and you see where he goes. Later, we will kill him. This asshole thinks he can mess with me? If this is the best Vice City has to offer, this is going to be easy. I really forgot how talkative he was in these one-liners. All right, go to the thief's house and find out where he's stashing the money. I'm gonna borrow this for a minute. Uh, yeah. Black tar again, really? All right, whatever. So yeah, let's go to the thief's house. All we're doing is chasing. We're, we're not here to kill. We're just here to chase. And it's pretty easy when you're in a car like this. Oh my god, I forgot what it was like to have speed. Okay. Wow, already smoking. It's fine. Maybe. Okay, it's now less fine. We'll manage. I hope. Okay. There we go. Have a look through his window. Oh, shit. <laughs> Escape to the roof, keep on his tail, but don't kill him. Probably should have got full body armor for this. But it's fine. Just chasing him down? I almost died th okay. Too slow, Grandad. You better keep on running, asshole. Yeah, you better. Thank God I was sprinting because I was not gonna clear those jumps. Grab some wheels and follow him. Alright. We'll just on 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 our moped. We'll chase after his BF injection. As he's shooting at me. Applicable chase music. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep my distance a little, you know. I'm not in a rush to get shot, you know. The lowest intensity chase ever. This is just like a nice casual Sunday evening drive. He's also a very bad shot for someone who has a uh, shotgun. That is a shotgun, right? Okay, I'm very upset. Now I actually got to speed up because that car is having some problems because it was getting shot at. You don't see me driving all crazy just because I'm getting shot at. Is he aggroed on him? 
I... No, no, he's just trying to get away. I genuinely hate this. What? Are you fucking... I'm mad about that one. And that car is lucky it despawned. Oh my god, I'm... Uh, Alright. You better keep on running, asshole! Wow, with the infinite sprint, you can actually kind of outrun him. That's hilarious. Okay, it seems driving in the oncoming lane seems to be the better choice. That way I can see when uh, cars are coming up on me and I won't be rear-ended. Do need to watch out about getting shot though, but I am closer than I probably should be to him. But I don't want to take any chances. I do not want to restart. Okay. Just following. We're doing fine. We're doing fine. This will also, like, drive his fire away from things behind me that will then aggro or just go crazy. Alrighty. And we're done. So now we know where he's hiding. It's where I found a hidden package. So now we're going to go ahead and uh, do one more mission here. That's a, okay, an adrenaline and a uh, wanted star. Got it. Should I restock on health and armor? You know what, I will. All right, I have full health and full armor. Uh, 24 shots of my python and um, yeah, probably not the best in terms of being strapped for going into this, but I do have a chainsaw. So I'll be good. Wow, they just randomly killed an officer, huh? All right. I'm mad at him. Uh, just checking because I thought there was stuff that spawns here. Or I might be thinking of something different. Probably. All right, well then... Wait, no, no, that's an adrenaline. Could have sworn. Or I might be thinking of something in another house. Oh, well, I'll be fine. Like I said, I got my chainsaw for backup. Nom Pen 86. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. I think that's what Vietnamese. Kind of fool are you? Fool! 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 Tommy! What, Ricardo? These idiots, they're always trying to screw you. That's the problem with this business. What do you think you're doing? <laughs> These pricks have failed me miserably. Soon any mom and pop will think they could sell Gallo in Vice City. What next, huh? The stinking mafia? That gang place is a fortress at ground level. So Quentin here, Quentin, Quentin! He'll fly you over the area. Quentin! Eradicate them! What do you think you're doing? What 
are you doing here? Hey, I've been asking around. It's obvious that Diaz jumped the deal and iced my brother. And he'll kill you, too. I can take Diaz. No, listen to me. I'll handle Diaz. He's beginning to trust me. Well, intrigue. One thing puzzling me. What's with Quinton? I don't know. I always kind of liked it. <laughs> Lance Vance. Ron Island. You have a buy one of those from a whirly? No, I'll get a bit of practice on the way though. So yeah, we got a minigun. At least I think this is a minigun or it might be an M16. Either way. No recoil. My kind of gun. Sensitivity is surprisingly high, but I think I'll manage. Come on. There we go. So yeah, we just need to clear out the outside. If he would stop moving, but I guess he needs to take evasive maneuvering, which I can kind of understand. I'm doing an amazing job. I have hit none of the explosive containers. I didn't even see you over there. There we go. Just, you know, get them in the tennis court. They were trying to enjoy a game, but uh, we need to land safely. Oh, there you are. <laughs> and there you aren't. Oh, we got some more up here. We're good. We got this. You worry too much. I, I, I can't hit him. Okay. Okay, the explosion hit no one, but we're doing fine. Yeah, we did not need that cinematic shot. Okay, these guys are packing some big heat. Thank you. Oh, I get to keep this with me. This is all I really need right now, but I will keep that in mind. Did I get him? Alright, might have to use this. Or not. We'll just go in the front. Got one. Anyone else? I couldn't even see you, but I know I got you. Alright, might as well just pick up their guns, you know, just for extra ammo. Just in case things go awry. Being careful. Oh. Alright, well that was easy. Did I actually get him with the python shot from all the way down there? I remember that being tougher. Huh. Well, yep, the storm warning is over in game. Unfortunately, not IRL. We have a thunderstorm warning right now and yeah, it's currently coming down. But um yeah, now, I think we're about to get a call about it. Tommy, it's me, Colonel Cortez. Look, senor, I believe you are a man who can get things done. So please help me. You can find me at the boat, huh? 
All right, well, something new opened up for Cortez, and we still have some Diaz missions, but yeah, now all of Vice City is open for us fairly early into the game, quite honestly. I forgot it opened up that quick, but yep, we can now go over here. We got a, like, military base right th there. This is the airport. It's kind of rough that the military base is right across from the airport. They will shoot you if you get nearby. Uh, we got uh, the... Oh, I could have zoomed in, like, even more. Yeah, this is the naval base, or military base. Airport. Got a pan spray. Tool shop. Pan spray. At a great location. Ammunition. The stadium. We'll be visiting there uh, next time, more or less. I say more or less, I mean legitimately next time, but, um, yeah, not much else to really say. So, uh, I was expecting more from the, uh, fallout of that mission, gonna be completely honest. I thought it was longer and tougher. I actually did not even need to refill my ammo or, well, not even ammo, my, um, we interrupt your programming health so you all bridges and armor. The city metropolitan area have been reopened. Hurricane Hermione has not hit the city. Sorry for any inconvenience. We thank you for your patience. Now, back to the show. Yay, Hurricane Hermione didn't kill us. But yeah, um, well, actually, no. Next time, we can wrap up all of the hidden packages, which I think I will do. So... Thank y'all for watching, have a great day, and see you next time for some more Let's Play Grand Theft Auto Vice City. We're getting the rest of the hidden packages. Goodbye.